If you want to add a new page to your communities, you are on the right video. Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to check how to add a new page and we will also look into the navigation how we can use the builder to change the UI but more specifically we are going to check how do we add a new page inside the communities but before getting started if you like my videos I request you to please subscribe to the channel so to come over here or inside this uh, we are usually going to make changes over here but to if you want to visit this particular page you need to go to all sites and from this all sites just click on this all site icon and here you will be able to find out the workspace icon inside this workspace icon okay there's a workspace icon and as soon as you click on the workspace icon there is a builder management or we can say builder that is available as soon as you click on this builder you will be able to see this kind of a website now this is resp responsible to show or to add a new page or anything related to the ui or uh, this particular page is this particular component is responsible for it now let's say you want to add a page but before going that let's see what are the existing pages that are available so if you check there's a home page right there's an account management page and also you are, you can see what are the components that are been added to this account management account management page right so related record list or uh, if you want you can go to another record uh, another pages right login page for an example we have our standard login page if you want you can override it from here let's say you want something else so for an example user object or user setting uh, how the page looks like so these are the few existing pages that are being provided by the salesforce itself i did not do anything but these are created by the salesforce itself now let's say you want to create your own custom page how do you do it so for that purpose just click on this setup icon and click on the new page you can create an object page which will have a particular object or either you can just create a standard page which is going to show something to us nothing else but it's just going to show something else to us okay so let's click standard page now it's asking what kind of layout do you want so whether this 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 i'm going to select two columns two is to one ratio split sidebar let's click on next next it's asking me the name of the page let's name it as custom page now if you see at the bottom url is getting added so what's going to happen is uh, we have a base url of our community and along with that you can use slash custom hyphen page to go to this particular page and let's create it so yes our custom page is successfully created but it does not have anything right now i want to show something okay not specific to anything but I just want to show something on my page so that it differs. Another thing is, uh, let's say, let's first add something. Okay. So to add anything, okay, related to UI, you can just go to the components and you can add anything that you want to. For an example, let's add a create record button or not create record button. <clears throat> let's cre add a create case form. Okay. Okay, please be sure. Okay, fine. Let's remove this. Instead of that, let's add something else. Ask button. Okay, we are just going to add a ask button at the top. Okay, our button is added. I'm going to publish it. Okay, our site has been published. Let's go to this community that we were already in. Now in this community, we are logged in as a guest user. If you don't know what guest user is, you can watch my previous video. So now if I go slash custom hyphen page, let's say whether we, yeah, we are getting redirected to that particular page. So if I add the slash custom page, but what if I want certain tab, right? I want a tab so that user should be able to redirect it to that custom page. So to do that, to in order to add your custom uh, page to the navigation bar you can just go to the navigation bar edit the default navigation and add new menu now instead in in this menu my custom page i'm going to name it at my custom page and type would be site page okay site page and the rest 
it would be we can select custom page right so the name of the page or custom page yeah so this is the custom page and make it publicly available if you want you can also add the icon as per as the need but now what we have done is we have created a new tab of type site page because I want a user to get redirected to a site page of course and then I have redirected to a particular page named as custom page that I have recently created let's save the menu and publish it now as this page is publicly available or this tab is publicly available my user that is my guest user should also be able to because I have not logged in yet so I am logged in as a guest user right now so he is also able to see the my custom page so if I go to the accounts we will move basically to the account page but if I want I can also move to the custom page that is the specific uh, slash custom page uh, by creating a custom page itself right so we created a custom page we added the link to it we added it to the navigation tab so that's how you create your own custom page you also can modify uh, many much more stuff so for an example i want if someone is going to visit that particular page i want them to log in so in that case you can just go to your custom page and you can select the page access as requires login right so you can do that as well and uh, yeah i think so you can also change the url and you can also set the audience right which audience will be able to see that so you can set the audience by going to the page variation and add managing the audience so you can set the audience which kind which kind of audience will be able to see this particular page so that's how you create a page and that's how you configure the page in communities or digital experience if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to this channel